Hi. As you may have heard, just two days ago, a Muslim imam murdered a Jordanian writer named Nahid Hatar because he insulted Islam. When reading the news, I noticed that Mr. Hatar had sounded apologetic and reconciliatory by explaining it was not his intention to insult Islam, but he was only trying to expose ISIS. Unfortunately, that did not save his life. Now, you might be thinking that Islam is a religion of forgiveness and it would never order the killing of someone who insulted Islam or did something disrespectful. Well, let's look at the Islamic sources to see how the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad, behaved in a similar situation. When we do that, we find that Muhammad himself wanted to kill a man even after the man had repented. In Sunan Abu Dawood, Volume 5, Hadith number 4359, it was narrated that on the day of conquest of Mecca, Abdullah bin Sa'd bin Abi Sarh hid with Uthman bin Affan, who brought him to the Prophet and said, O Messenger of Allah, accept the pledge of Abdullah. He raised his head and looked at him three times and refused each time. Then he accepted his pledge after three times. Then he turned to his companions and said, was there no wise man among you who could have stood up when he saw me holding back my hand from accepting his allegiance to kill him? They said, We did not know, O Messenger of Allah, what was on your mind. Why didn't you make some hint to us with your eyes? He said, It is not appropriate for a prophet to deceive with the eyes. And this hadith is authentic or hasan. And according to hadith scholar Al-Albani, the hadith is sahih. This narration is about Muhammad's former scribe who had apostatized from Islam but later returned. His life was spared by Uthman. Muhammad, however, was very unforgiving, clearly holding a grudge against him and even wanted him dead. So we see here from this Islamic source that the murder of the Jordanian writer is in perfect harmony with the behavior and teachings of Muhammad. I hope this video has helped you dispel the myth that Islam is a religion of forgiveness. Thank you for watching.